okay, uh, is this better? Because it's more HQ. But, um, anyway, I just wanted to say, um, <coughs> sorry. how many of you guys have seen, saw on ABC Family, The Secret Life of the American Teenager, season three, or season four premiere last night? And if you have, um, here's what I understand about couples. Grace and Jack, I really don't know what the big deal is with them. They're broken up, so Grace really doesn't have that much drama going on. Like, it's been a couple of weeks, I guess you could say, since her father died, since her mom moved on so quickly, which is just kind of rude of ABC Family to do. I mean... How can you get over the death of your beloved in less than a year and get engaged again? That, that's just rude. <laughs> anyway, and then Adrian's pregnant now. You see, the whole point of The Secret Life of the American Teenager is the pregnancy and the drama between Amy and Ricky and Ben and Adrian. And Amy is the only one that's supposed to be pregnant. But if you saw the previews for the next episode, Amy has been learned that Adrian is pregnant. Or Adrian finds out that she really actually is pregnant and that the birth control or that the birth test or th that the pregnancy test lied or something or whatever. But um, I feel that only Amy and the show should be pregnant because Adrian, I mean, she kind of had it coming. She's a slut, a big time, a majorette. And um, yeah, there's this one episode where she slept with her brother, not brother, brother, stepbrother, brother-in-law, whatever, it was so gross, and, um, Amy and Ben, I was kind of hoping that Amy and Ricky would get together, and that Ricky would realize that Amy is just true love, and that he would be a much, much better, um, boyfriend or father than he was to Adrian, much better boyfriend than he was to Adrian to Amy, and to be a loving father, but, the only thing they have in common is the fact that they have a child. And Adrian just like refuses to um, think about that. You see, like, I just, Adrian's like too needy. Like, she wants Ricky, but Ricky doesn't want her. And he's really actually afraid to say that to her. He doesn't really know what he's wanting because Ricky's like had a really rough past. So, and then there's, um, Madison, who's with Jack now and is having some form of sexual activity, oral, and it's weird that ABC Family would go into all, it's just like ABC Family talking a lot about sex on that show, and that's weird. I still like the show and everything, it's just weird. And, um, there's Ricky, no, I, I just talked about him. Oh, there's Ashley, who at the beginning of the show, like the very beginning of season one, dressed all showy, slutty-like, and oh, I was like, oh, well, another Adrian, but uh, no, and she got all nice and stuff, and she's beginning to fall for Ricky, if you saw the last episode, I think she's probably going to dump her boyfriend, who I think or believe is perfect for her, but apparently she doesn't. And then there's, uh, let's see, Grace to Amy, Ricky, Grace is mine, Ben, oh yeah, Ben in the first episode, who says after three, two, or one episode that you love a girl, or a boy, or whatever, and like Amy, I would be freaking out too. I'm just like, what did you just say? We've only been on one date. You're taking things way too fast. And truly, I don't really think that Amy truly loves Ben. It's just kind of... If he says I love you, I have to say I love you too. Moment, You know? Like, if you say, oh, I love you. If I say, oh, I love you guys, you can't just say, oh, I love you too, without even really knowing me, you know? And so that's just pretty much it. But anyway, yeah. And then, those of you who are excited, ah! 
the um, Pretty Little Liars premiere is coming on tonight. Ah! Yeah, <laughs> I screamed. Oh, let's be scream again. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really excited because I've been waiting pretty much all month for this. Oh, by the way, for my exams, I passed math. So, yay, let's just see how the rest goes. But anyway, oh, Pretty Little Liars. Um, I think it's going to be a really, really big ABC Family show. And even if they didn't stick to the characters like I thought they would, I mean, the only person they stuck really to, I think, is Arya. I mean, I haven't really read the books yet, but I've heard a lot of it and seen the characters off of the books and read some stuff from the books. So, I haven't really gone into that yet, but I, pr but I want to. And I will as soon as the library gets it back from that other girl's freaking checked it out. But anyway, um, but anyway... So, I mean, Emily's different, you know, redhead. She, em Emily's not a redhead, she's not Irish, she's Indian or black or whatever mix she is on that show. And, um, Spencer is so actually supposed to have blonde hair, but she has brown hair and she looks really conservative. And Emily's supposed to look conservative. It's confusing. But it does look like it would be from the makers of the Vampire Diaries, like they said. And then there's um, Hannah, which is played by Ashley Benson. And Ashley Benson was off of um, the bring the recently, no, not recently, because they made another Bring It On movie. But she was out for um, Bring It On in it to win it. So, um, yeah, I think she played a really good role, and I think she's going to because she's Hannah, but Hannah is supposed to be brunette. You see, it's getting confusion. It's confusing. But, um, I, I think it's pretty good so far. Um, and then there's, that's pretty much it. Holly Mary Cones from Charmed is going to be on there as Arya's mom. And I love Charmed, so it's really cool to see Holly Mary Cones on there. And, uh, since I've really seen her act um, since Charmed, I haven't seen her in any movie since then. And, uh, then there's an Ezra, Arya's teacher, English teacher. He is hot, and I do not blame Arya for loving him or you know, kissing him, making out with him 24-7 because, honey, he is hot. If I mean, I would totally marry the guy, but I already have my heart set on another guy. So I'll tell you more about the other, my guy in the next video. But, um... So, yeah, I'm looking forward to Pretty Little Liars. Single Lives of American Teenager was interesting. And uh, I can't really wait, wait for Make It or Break It. But after the first season, I thought, oh, how could you have any more dramatic things in Make It or Break It? I mean, I don't know how you can get more dramatic in there since the first season was already really, really good. But I don't know. I didn't watch a lot of the second season too much. And I don't know if I will watch the third season because it's just... The girl with the blonde hair, Kaylee's friend, cheating on, I think her name's Lauren, cheating on, cheating with Kaylee's boyfriend, and then, then there's, um, Emily Kmeko, or whatever her name is, which is, who is still trying to figure out her own relationship, Payson, who is back, and then there's, pretty much it. That's the only girls, the main characters. But anyway, yeah. And then, oh, on the Pretty Little Liars thing, I was actually surprised that ABC Family would have that series since Emily is in fact a lesbian or bisexual or whatever she, whatever the crap she is. But there was this clip on there where she was kissing a girl. But, yeah, that's ABC Family's problem. They're kind of turning bad. Well, I still like the show Pretty Little Liars and um, Make It or Break It and uh, Secret Love and American Teenage teenager there's just a lot of sex and gay like activity but anyway that's just my thoughts about it and uh, i guess i'll just see you in the next video i'm getting ready to post right after this one and so then i have like 30 seconds left i'm just going to say a quick goodbye and um in the next video i'll also share with you the secrets i found out on my ipod so look forward to that and just want to say goodbye bye everybody i love you